Okay, starting turn number three with Arjun, and things are not going well for us. I mean, we've barely made it up past the start tile. We've drawn a wraith, a dark trap. Cabin's already turned into the young vampire. We've had to draw an extra tile, place an extra monster. I mean, this is just about as bad as things could go, I would imagine. So we're going to have Arjun once again try to use his precise strike because we really have to get that wraith out of here. I mean, that thing can do three damage and it's just going to wreck us. So once again, Arjun will attack the wraith with the precise strike. We get an 11, so we just need to have a four. That's it. And okay, so that time we clearly hit the wraith with the precise strike doing the two damage. So we flip the card over. Take the Wraith experience, put it into our experience pile, and we now have a pile of five, so we can cancel an encounter finally. Take the Wraith off the table, put it into our monster stack over here. Let's start updating for Arjun. Now, well, one thing I want to do before I forget is uh, everybody takes damage, so that takes, because of the death shriek, the uh, one really annoying thing about the Wraith is that it has that special ability, death shriek. And when this monster is destroyed, each hero on the tile takes a damage. So, so that's going to do one damage to Arjun, one damage to Alyssa. Uh, it won't do anything to uh, to Cavan. Uh, I guess for one reason, he's he's a uh, he's not currently a hero. He's currently a vampire. But even when he's in his Cavan form, it says that uh, the castle recognizes him as one of their own so he uh, he doesn't monsters don't attack him he's not affected by encounter cards so i would guess that that also means that he's not affected by damage that's caused by monsters exploding somehow he escapes that um anyway so arjun did not need a token he did attack and kill so he will get a treasure so let's let's get that let's get some hit points and these are not hit points uh, this card counts as experience. All right, so we just throw this onto our experience pile. And now Arjun can move. He's slow, but he can move. So let's uh, let's go ahead and have him move, I think. Yeah, why not? We need to get away from here anyway. And let's go this way. Uh, so he'll go one, two, so he'll be adjacent to the Cobalt Skirmisher. So his hero phase now ends, which means he's no longer slowed. Uh, he won't be exploring. Let me think if I want to redo that, because I kind of do need him to explore. But on the other hand, I don't want him to be on the tile with the dark traps, so we're sticking with what we're doing here. All right, so the slowed wore off. Now we're not exploring, so no new tile, no new monster, but we do have an encounter. Uh, the Wraith is finally gone. And so the only thing we have at the moment is the Dart Trap. That's our number one. And that'll probably be here till we die and the game's over. Um, what else? So, let me think. Okay, so, okay, so technically uh, we're now starting the, the villain phase. So before we draw that encounter card, we want to look at our situation here with Cavan. So at the start of any villain phase, if there is no other monster on the young vampire's tile, and there is at least one hero on the tile, and both of those are true, the young vampire transforms back into cavern. So you replace the vampire with the cavern token. So we'll grab the cavern token and replace it. So once again, we have cavern. All right, so now we draw the encounter. Oh my god, really? Another trap. Okay, fun times. So we draw the trap, and we're just gonna... I'm just gonna put it here, because there's really very little room on this tile. So we drew... Um, well, we didn't draw, but we now we have SW, sliding walls. All right, so now traps activate. This trap activates, does nothing. Sliding walls activates. Uh, da -da -da -da. So you basically you roll the dice, and which if you roll a 
you know, it's, uh, it's between a 6 and 10, I have to move Arjun this way. If I roll between a 16 and 20, I have to move him that way. And since I can't move him that way, he would take a damage. And same with these other two. If, he, if I have to move him that way, I can't. He can't move this way, so he takes damage. And he can't move this way, so he takes damage. So best case scenario, we get between a 6 and a 10. And we get a 10, so I guess that's the best case scenario. And so it says basically we slide Arjun in the direction um, indicated. Let me just read this real quick. Roll the die for each hero on this tile and, re and place that hero on a tile within one tile of this trap in the direction indicated by the sliding walls marker. So yeah, we just have to slide him over here like so. And that's the sliding wall, so that's the end of Arjun's turn. Now it's going to be Alyssa's turn to go. So we'll have her... Um, we'll go ahead and have her move over here. Let me see, do I want to bother with the Cobalt Skirmisher or just have it chase us down? We need to explore. I think I'm going to have her go the other way. So she can move six, but she only needs to move um, a little bit. So we'll have her move, you know, actually we'll just put her right on the bone pile. And that, and then she'll use her scout to explore. All right, so draw a tile. It's a white tile, so no encounter. And you know what? I just remembered I could have canceled this. Um, well, I didn't cancel it, so it is what it is. Um, all right, and she gets a monster. Oh, it's a wraith. I just killed a wraith, and it was hard to kill. Man, I'm so unlucky in this game. All right, let's update for Alyssa. So nothing here. She did move. Uh, she's not attacking, so there's no treasure. She did explore. She got a white tile. Got a wraith. Um, no encounter, and the young vampire is no longer a young vampire. Uh, we have the Cobalt Skirmisher, and now a Wraith. Okay, so at the beginning of her villain phase, we have to check the condition for Cabin, and he's fine. So then her monsters activate. The Cobalt Skirmisher goes first. And it's going to stay put and throw its javelin at Arjun. So it's going to have a plus 9 on that attack, so it's very likely to hit 16. So, yeah, that would almost hit even without the modifier of the plus 9. So it hits Arjun. Arjun takes 1 damage, goes down to 4. And now her wraith activates. Ugh. Tell you, if you ever stack the deck... Take, take wraiths, put them on the bottom of your monster deck, or just remove them out of the game completely. They're the worst. So if the wraith is uh, within a tile of this, so we, we've seen this we've seen this before, so it's just going to move adjacent to Alyssa, attack with life draining claws, gets a plus six on the attack. And seven plus six is 13, so that will miss, but it's still going to do one collateral damage, I guess, taking Alyssa down to four. So that's the end of our villain phase, and that'll be the end of turn number three.